Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie Jade. I post videos over here at least three times a week and I do have a vlogging channel too. So I hope you're all very well today. In today's video, I'm going to be trying the brand new XX Revolution Mixed Metals Collection. This was only released, I think, two days ago now. And I am so, so excited to give it a go. So I've got a couple of items to show you guys. Hope you'll enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a lovely little comment to read later on. And please do subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. But without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So I've just zoomed you guys in and now we are ready to get started. So first I'm going to show you what I bought. So these items are pizza approved, meaning they are cruelty free. They are also vegan as well. I bought two items from the collection. Firstly, I bought the little palette. This is what it looks like. It's got six shades inside, four shimmers and two mattes if I'm correct. Absolutely love this packaging and cannot wait to get inside this. So it says Skin XX Makeup and it's in Mixed Metals Flex Shadow Palette. They brought out two palettes for this collection, a really big one, but then this one as well. This is one that really caught my eye. I love the nudes in it and the glitters look beautiful. And then the real reason I wanted this collection was the Mixed Metals Water Activated Liners. So I have two of Revolution's Water Activated Liner sets. I have one of their XX ones, it's like their Tiger collection, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like very Tiger themed. And then I also have their Powerpuff Girls one, which is beautiful, but I've never ever tried a metallic glittery water activated liner, so I had to get my hands on this. So this is what they look like. There are six beautiful shades in here, and I'm so excited to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm going to get started. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my P. Louise base to prime my eyes with. I have been using my Beauty Bay base quite a lot recently, but that one has now officially run out. I managed to make it last a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it has officially run out. I do need to buy another one, really. But they're like £6.50 and at the moment I'm very, very broke so we're not going to do that yet. And then I'm just taking this flat brush from Soul Beauty to just blend this in. I'm just going to grab this for a mirror. And I'm just going to start to pat this in. A little bit goes a long way when using the P. Louise base. I'm just going to pat this in until I'm happy with it. So my eyes are now primed, we're ready to go. I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more just so you can see properly what I'm actually doing here. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna start off by opening the palette. I've literally not opened this yet or seen it properly. I was saving it for the video. So I actually bought this in Boots because right now you can buy them in Boots. I've literally just been released but they are on the shelves in Boots which is good. But if you go to the Revolution website, it is three for two on things, but I didn't want to wait for the shipping because I know there's a lot of problems with shipping at the moment with so many Royal Mail strikes. So I decided to buy it there and then. So this is what it looks like. So classy. And then when I open it up, let's get rid of that sheet. So these are the shades. This is what they look like. They are unbelievably beautiful. I absolutely love them. I think these two are going to be like two of my favourites, this white shimmer and then this gold looks so gorgeous. And then I really like the look of these two matches, it's like a really warm kind of like purpley hint in it, really like that. Okay, I'm really excited and I just want to get started. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take this shade and we're going to do kind of like a cut crease but like one quite high up because I want to try to be able to incorporate both of these. So I want to be able to incorporate some of the shimmers, some of the matte shades, as well as these liners. What I'm going to do, taking this brush here, this is the 272 by P. Louise. I'm just going to tap into this one here. And the only thing that I feel like this is missing is a mirror, because I keep going to look into the mirror and there isn't one. But a lot of the XX Revolution palettes don't actually have a mirror, so I'm not that surprised. And I'm just going to start here, just above my crease. Oh, that is pretty. That's going to be really blendable. I feel it already. And I'm just going to start to bring it across here a little bit. And then I'm going to take it from my inner corner all the way across. To be fair, it's pigmented, but it's not as pigmented as I thought it was. 
but I didn't pick up that much product. Okay, that is that is better. I picked up a little bit more product there and now it is very nice. I do really like the shade of this. It's a really nice warm, bit purpley, bit of a nude kind of shade. It's very classy. I feel like a lot of things by Revolution, like XX Revolution, are very, very classy and they just give those really classy vibes. Don't know if that's just me. I do know they are a little bit more expensive than regular Revolution stuff. But the quality is really, really good as well. Like, look at how well this is blending already. I'm just going to keep going with this until I'm happy with that placement of it. But I do really, really like this colour. just want to make sure that I can try and incorporate as many of those shades in as I can because it's a beautiful collection. Okay, I'm going to start on my other eye so I can just catch up where that eye's up to. I'm just grabbing this one. And then I'm just going to start there, so I know where that's going to be. Apply a little bit here. I'm just kind of mapping it out, which is what I like to do. I feel like it just makes it a bit easier for me in the long run. So I feel like it's not as pigmented as some Revolution palettes are. But the actual colour of it is so pretty and it is blending really well. So you've got your pros and your cons. So far, I do really like it though. It is looking really nice. I love that warm tone in it i'm going in with that lighter shade now that other matte shade which is this one here it's quite a nude and i'm just going to tickle the edges of there to have a bit of a nicer blend so it's a smoother blend going up oh they go really nicely together okay i really like that that's a good color combo because when i first saw the palette i just wasn't 100 percent sure because it's only got two matte shades I do prefer like more of a 50-50 ratio from matte to shimmers. But I thought they will blend nicely, like the good colours go together. And you can do a lot of different things with these two colours. So I thought, you know what, we're going to give it a go anyway. And I feel like I'm stand corrected. I feel like it is really nice and they pick some really good shades together. So again, just buff the edges here. I'm just going to keep blending this till I'm happy with it and it looks quite smooth and the colours go well together. This is how it's looking and I actually really like this. It's blending out really, really nicely and it's got like a really nice warm look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off camera to do my cut crease. I'm literally just going to cut here and get rid of all the excess product from kind of like here downwards. So basically my crease downwards. And then I'm going to hop back on and carry on with the rest of the products. So I've just done my cut crease and then I've set it with just some powder. And this is how it's looking. And I'm actually getting so excited for this look. So I've been sat here thinking, how can I incorporate as many of these shades into this look as possible? And I've had an idea. So I'm going to take this liner palette now. I'm actually going to unpackage it. And I'm so excited. I've not looked at this properly yet. How do I get in? Okay, there. I feel like I always end up opening things from the bottom because it's just so much easier. So it comes with a little brush. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited. And it comes with this little brush. All of the waterliner palettes do come with a little brush, which is really handy. So that's that there. And then getting the actual palette out. There. This is the palette. It looks so classy and I'm so excited to use it. So these are the shades. I'm kind of thinking which ones I want to use really hard to decide i think i do want to try this silver one definitely and maybe like a bronzy one so i've actually got a little spray bottle of water to activate these so i'm going to give it a little spray and now i'm so excited but this is the part that like oh it's got a little protector on it. i didn't even realize i had a little protector on it take that off now this is the anxious but exciting part i'm going to go with the silver first Oh wow, that looks so pretty. Okay, I'm so excited. So I've got some of that on my brush. I'm just going to get a mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing for this. I'm going to start to use this as a liner on where we've got, between the cut crease and that shade, there, this line, and line that. So I'm going to start here with it. That is so pretty. I don't know how well you can see that on camera yet. But that is really, really pretty. Okay, I need to get a little bit more. I feel like I might need to wet my brush as well because the brush just isn't wet. So it's not going to cooperate as well. And then go back in that shade. Oh, that's working a loads better now. I was like, it was working. It just wasn't picking up that much product. 
But now I've got my brush, it's really starting to pick it up a lot better. So I'm going to start and do it from there all the way to my inner corner. Oh wow, that is so nice. So recently I've been using the Collection Glitter Liners, which I really like them. They're really nice. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye as well while we talk. And I do really, really like them. They're really cheap, but they're the only ones I really found. And they have gold and silver. The silver one's the one that I use all the time. It's so pretty. But I've not really found any by any other brands that I do like, apart from that one. So, I feel like I've just found a new favourite. Like, look at how shiny that is. I just need to not breathe while I put it on. I'm going to do that all the way into my corner, I think. I feel like I've messed it up a little bit just because I didn't wet my brush at the start, so it's a little bit thicker at this side. But it's fine, it's only practice, it's the first time using it. So it's what it's currently looking like, and I really like that silver kind of fleck in it. I'm going to take the silver a little bit further, just a tiny bit further, before I go in with another colour. And my idea is try to do like an ombre with these colours. Don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm just going over that there and take it a little bit further up. I'm so sorry if you can hear the seagulls. It's something that I'm still getting used to living here because like when I used to live in my old house, you would never get seagulls and you never hear seagulls. But in this house, like I hear them all the time. Like I wake up to the noise of seagulls, which is kind of cool really. But at the same time, I'm still not used to it. <laughs> so this is how it's looking. I'm gonna go in next with one of the bronze shades, I think. I think I wanna use this one. This is the lighter of the two bronzes, and this one just looks really pretty. So I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to clean off my brush to make sure that's nice and clean. And then I'm going to wet the brush again. So that really, really helped. And then just wet that shade again to make sure that's got enough water to make it work. So we're going in with this one here. I do feel like I just needed to use more water with it because these are just working like a dream now. Like, that's really picked up really, really well. So at least next time we'll know. And I'm just going to... Wow. Okay, that is gorgeous. I'm just going to start there. And then do it like the middle third. I love that. That is so shimmery. And then same thing on this eye. Like, I've definitely got improvements that I could make on this because it's my first time using it. But it's really pretty. I really like it. Okay, I really like that. That's how it's looking. And then I'm going to go over one little bit more with that before we go over the final shade. I think I want to use the gold, you know. I wasn't going to go in with the gold, but I think I'm going to try it because I feel like it would really go well with these two shades. I feel like something's going a little bit further. There, like that. So now I'm going in with that gold. And make sure that is nice and saturated. And I'm just going to make sure I've got some on my brush. It might be a little bit too much to be fair. Just wipe the excess off. Then we're going to do the rest of my crease with that gold. So I'm just going to take my... Oh, I think the gold might be my favourite. Yeah, I did mess that up a bit then, but that's fine. It's hard doing it on camera so you guys can see, but make sure that I can see as well, which isn't easy. Okay, the gold has to be my favourite. I feel like it's the most reflective and really picks up in the light. I'm just going to use the end of the brush there just to try and eat that line up a little bit if I can. Yeah, that gold has to be my favourite out of the three. That is really nice. I am just going to hop off camera, neaten this up a little bit, any areas that I might have missed, things like that, and then be right back. So this is now how it's looking. I went over them again just to make them a little bit more bold. And on my inner corner one, I actually took a little bit of that white shade and added a little bit of that over it. And I think it's really made it pop. I absolutely love these. So I'm going to do my final step, which I want to add an inner corner shimmer absolutely drawn to this so i'm going to grab a bit of this and look at how pretty it is so i'm just going to apply a little bit of this oh wow okay that 
is stunning. That is really nice. In the inner corner of my eye there. I really like that. That's such a pretty colour. I really like that. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that gold and just kind of tap that over my lid. Just a tiny little bit. Just to add that tiny bit of shimmer. I don't want it to be intense. I'm literally just tapping it over my lid a little bit there. going to quickly do my mascara. Top up any of the bits that I want to do on my face. Like any of my highlight or anything like that. And then come back for the final look. This is now the final look. What do we think? I really love these palettes. I really want to create some looks just using the palettes on their own, like just using a graphic line look using this because it's really, really nice. And I feel like it has so much potential, especially if I just use it on its own, like I'll create some really gorgeous looks. So do look out for these on my TikTok, maybe on here as well. But that is pretty much it for me today, guys. I have really enjoyed this. I hope you guys have too. If you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!